up on the hip hop music, just breathing that air. You're watching Simulated Sessions. My name's Maggie, and I'm here with Muggsy. Muggsy, how are you doing? Good, thanks for having me. You're welcome. What's been going on? Ah, oh, the life of hip hop. I, yeah. That's all I can say. You've had really. like a little bit of a break, no? Yeah, yeah. My, my second album, Understand Me, came mm -hmm. out in 2013. Mm -hmm. And, um, 2013 came 2014 and yeah. I wanted to promote it you know mm -hmm. get it on radio play yeah. and across the world mm -hmm. and then 2015 came and I was <laughs> like well I really got to write a new yeah, album yeah. now yeah. so I've been thinking of heaps of ideas to do a two disc but yeah. um, I'm just like being a bit lazy and yeah, not, you're yeah. not doing it kind of thing yeah. Um, in saying that, with the second album, I'm constantly, you know, if you see on my page, I'm getting mm -hmm. on so many, like, yeah, you know, definitely. radio stations yeah, across the globe. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's, it's been going good. That's exciting. Yeah. yeah. So what made you want to do a two disc? A two disc? Um, well, my first album, my second album were a mm -hmm. one, and mm -hmm. my first album was 15 tracks, my second was 20, mm -hmm. and then for my third, I just had all these ideas flooding after it, mm -hmm. and, and I was like, I don't want to do another one disc I want to do like two and then leave it for a couple more years so people have like a big bunch yeah, to go okay. off kind of thing mm -hmm. yeah. you know um, but my first album I didn't have no collaborations my second I had a girl called Eden Hook mm -hmm. who's a singer yeah. and my producer he came on a couple of tracks as well okay, nice. but the third one I was like I really got to get some collaborations on this yeah. and uh, maybe locally or internationally, yeah. whatever the thing is. You yeah, know? that's yeah. exciting. So have you been starting to, I guess, get some feelers out there now to see who might possibly jump on the third Yeah, album? yeah. Well, um, like when I jump on Facebook, I get, I get about like over 100 notifications, mm -hmm. you know, and, it, yeah. and it's from people saying, um, you know, check me out. And yeah. I'm not one of these artists that push them away. Like, no, nah, mm -hmm. no, if, if you're not my style, I'm not going to hear from you. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I, I take a, an hour out of my day mm -hmm. and I look through all these artists in my position as yeah. well mm -hmm. and, and, and I like him you know feedback and stuff like yeah. you could do this better or mm -hmm. yeah that's good yeah. and that and then that builds respect yeah. you know so yeah. they're like they, and then that gives but me opportunity each other out as that, well. that's right yeah. you know mm -hmm. yeah um but with the third album I want to do like get higher artists in the game like mm -hmm. that are you know have it, it could say like deals yeah. in a way um so I've been um, looking into artists like Solomon Childs, who's mm -hmm. with Wu Tang. Yep. Um, he actually hit me up. He found me instead oh, of me. That's awesome. Yeah, which that's I was cool. I was really shocked yeah. about. <laughs> um, you know, Jay West. I got a guy that um, knows Jay West and yep. stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought, how big these artists are. I thought, yep. you know, um, I wouldn't expect them to have Facebook profiles. Yep. But I searched them up, and they've all got profiles. So yeah, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm going back and forth messaging yep. them and. All that sort of stuff. Oh, that's good. So it's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're good at quite connecting with everyone. I mean, you've got over like 10Ks. Yeah, you know, like almost, Facebook, yeah, yeah, which almost is 11. Yeah, yeah it's that's crazy. Really cool. Crazy times. Yeah. yeah. And you've been emceeing, was it, I think when you were quite young, did you start at 16 or? No, I started um, like, yeah, I think 14, back 14. in back in mm -hmm. 05. So yeah. that's about 12 to 13 years yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, before that, um, I actually found hip hop through my younger brother, who was two years younger, but younger yeah. brother. Mm -hmm. And when we were kids, he used to have all these singles like of Eminem and Jay Z yeah, and stuff. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we started listening to it. But then later on, when I was in high school, I wanted to sort of pursue it in a way, mm -hmm. you know, because um, I was never really good at high school. I hated high school. <laughs> you know, I think everyone <laughs> I didn't did. I think anyone loved high yeah. school. Yeah. So, so instead of doing the work, I used to just drop down rhymes and stuff. Yeah. But um, I knew if I wanted to pursue it, I had to write full, you know, pledged songs and stuff yeah, so I started writing songs and that and then um you know I found a studio down in Sydney and I recorded my first album yeah. and then because I'm from a small town yeah. everyone was like yeah we know that guy he's doing hip-hop now and stuff yeah. and, and word got out and, and it's expanded from yeah there. history yeah, ever yeah. since you know nice. so it's cool yeah. yeah can you tell the difference from back then to obviously now oh definitely yeah yeah, yeah. um what would yeah. be the biggest hurdle you think that um, you have to deal with now that you didn't have to deal with back well, then? well it wasn't really a hurdle it was more because yeah. I like I grew up with when I was a kid, was well, sort of early teenager. I grew up with like West Coast and gangster artists, yeah, yeah. so I sort of wrote about that. Okay, you, you know, like which is pretty whack. Here in like, Australia. yeah, definitely, <laughs> it, it was whack. You know, like you should have seen me. I had like the do rag going and, and everything. Like, yeah, you know, it, it was so bad. And then like <laughs> later on, I, I started to um, you know research more of the culture and more artists, and that mm -hmm. sort of gave me more of a development of 
you know, a better artist. And yes. then I, now I sort of just write about like how I want to make it in the industry, mm. um, sort of like my points on like, you know, the world and stuff like that. You know, yeah. what's, yeah, just everyday stuff, you know? Yeah. And um, people respect it more than what they Obviously, did. Obviously, yeah. Yeah, well, of course. Well, it's, I guess, a bit more relatable than... Well, that, we that's right, yeah. you know? Yeah, <laughs> that, that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. So are you doing any live shows or any performances? Um, I put live shows on hold um, okay. for about, about a year. Um, mm. But one of the best shows I did was back in 2012. Okay. It was a, a gig called Urban Star. Mm -hmm. And um, it was kind of like Australia's Got Talent, but a hip hop and R&B thing. Oh, interesting, I'd never heard of that. Yeah, yeah. and um, it was in uh, Burwood. And oh, wow. I wasn't going to do it at first, but then I was looking at the, the information mm -hmm. and it said one of the judges was a guy called uh, Marcus Pennell and okay. he used to work for Def Jam and Sony. Oh, nice. And yeah, he was one of the judges and, you know, there was about 20 contestants and I was the only one that did original material. Yeah. And um, yeah, he gave me a 10 out of 10 and just knowing that he respected my performance yeah, yeah. with someone that's worked with us I look up to yeah. was just insane. But yeah. we're good friends and stuff, so hopefully, you know, he can... Um, sort of give me a ticket to yeah. where I want to be, yeah, you know? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah well, definitely. it's good to have the experience or get the guidance between oh, someone definitely. who has that experience. Definitely, because yeah. I, I thought, um, you know, being that high up, he would have been a bit standoffish, but he's yeah. a real humble guy, oh, so good. that was real cool. That's exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we look forward to hearing your third album. Oh, thank Very you. Very excited about that. Yeah. Thanks so much for coming through. Oh, hey, thanks for having me. <laughs> You're watching Simulated Sessions. My name's Maggie. <laughs>